Hi, welcome to my channel and today I have another theatre vlog for you. So today I'm actually going to go and see Sister Act for the second time. I've already been once, um, but there was an offer on the single seat tickets. They reduced them for today's matinee to just £13. And I think they reduced the evening single seats to £27. So this seat I think should use you around £50-£60. It's in the stores, it's L43 I think. So I'm really interested to see what the view is like from this seat compared to my last seat that I paid £13 for. Um, last time I had a lighting rig obstructing my view. I don't think this one said it was obstructive view. I think it had just been reduced simply because they wanted to sell all the single seat tickets. And I've just checked today and this show is sold out. It's completely sold out so the theatre is going to be very, very busy. And also tonight's show is completely sold out because today is the last day for shows of Sister Act in Manchester. It's then moving on to London. So yeah, I'm really excited to see the show again. Um, and obviously after the show I will compare my views from both, whether I enjoyed it more sat in the stores and the circle. Um, I'll review it again. I've already done a review for it, but I'll tell you what I thought of it this time. Do I think it was any different? Because um, I've been told that Jennifer saw an ad libs in it and she doesn't always say the same thing because some of my friends have been more than once. So I'd be interested to see if she says anything different in this one. So yeah, really looking forward to it. And yeah, better head out because it is half one now. It starts at half two. So yeah, I'll get back to you now once I'm at the tram stop. My parents have just picked the kids up and now I'm just off the tram stop to get the tram so yeah I'm probably only just going to get there about 20 minutes before the show starts I usually like to get there for an hour before so better hurry up so it's 10 to 2 I've just got to the tram stop we'll put you in one minute so I'm going to be quite late getting to the show but yeah the tram should be here any minute now here it is Hi, so it is now, ooh, it's now 10 past 2, so I've got 20 minutes before the show starts. Just got off the tram, luckily it's only like a 10 minute walk up the road. So, should get there in time, but I have time to film much. I'm just going to have to go straight into the seat, so get back to you on some of the theatre. Here we go, I'm just walking up to the theatre now. Here we go. About two minutes away. Oh, that would be a bad thing. I'm getting the queue to get in there. Twelve minutes past now. I'm just in the place. Just gonna have a quick look at the merch. I've probably got a penny. Quick look. Then I'm gonna head to my seat. I've just bought the souvenir brochure. I'm just gonna head down to the store now. It's down here. I'm actually on the other side, but it's not over there in a minute. So I'm on this side of the stores, number 43. <laughs> 
Okay, so I'm in the stalls now. I'm just going to show you where my seat is. I'm on row L, seat 44. in my seat now this is my view it's much better than the view I had last time we're yeah, really looking forward to the show
the sale has just finished now. It was really, really good. And I'm just going to go and get something to eat because I'm absolutely starving now. I'm not sure what time it is. So, yeah, I'll get back to you later when, when I'm at the food court in that deal. Hi, so it's now quite a bit later since I got back from the theatre. I had to get the kids to bed and everything. So it is now, I think it's coming up to midnight. But I thought I'd just give you a little review of the show. I actually really enjoyed the show this time. more than I enjoyed it last time, but I definitely enjoyed it more this time. I'm not sure if it was because I was sat closer. I could see the facial expressions a lot more. And... Yeah, I think I did just enjoy it more, sat near the front. I think I found recently that I do enjoy sitting closer to the front more than further back. However, that's not always an option because we have to buy the cheapest seats because we want to see a lot of shows. Can't afford to be paying £70, £80 pounds for a ticket. So if I can get a cheap ticket near the front, then I will. Um, because this ticket that I got for this show, I think it should have been a £60 pound ticket. Um, but it was reduced to £13 because it was a single seat ticket. Some shows, it is worth looking for at some shows, some shows do reduce their single seat tickets a few days before the show. So I bought this ticket, was it Wednesday or Thursday for the Saturday matinee and all the single seat tickets for that show had been reduced to £13. Um, the Saturday evening show, they'd reduced all their single seat tickets to £27. So they seem to reduce the matinee more, I don't know why. So I was really lucky to get the seat that I did for just £13 because the view was excellent. I would definitely sit there again. I don't think I'll ever get a £13 ticket there again unless there's another offer on like that. Um, but yeah, the view was very good from that seat. I would definitely sit there again. So I was sat in the stalls, row L, seat 43. Um, and yeah, the view was excellent from there, as you probably would have seen from the curtain call video. So I ended up getting to the theatre today quite late. I wasn't, um, usually I like to get there an hour before the show, just so I can film bits and um, look at the merch, buy some merch and stuff. But today I got there, what time did I get there? I think I said in the vlog, but I was running late. Um, I think, was it like 10 past two? It starts at half two. So I'm not sure exactly how much, I, what I filmed in the theatre. But yeah, I didn't have time to relax as much as I usually do. But I did have a chance to stop at the merch stand, have a quick look, see what they had. They didn't have that much left from what I remember. They still didn't have any magnets. I don't recall seeing any of the key rings. I don't recall seeing the little candles or I think yeah, they have water bottles or something originally. I think they might have, but they didn't have them. All I remember seeing was the t-shirts, the hoodie, the umbrella, the mug, and that's all I think I saw. I did film it so you can probably see in there what they had left. Um I did actually pick up the uh souvenir program it's this special one for manchester it was eight pounds um the only reason i got this was because my last one from the last show got ruined in the rain uh, so i thought oh, i don't want to buy the same one again i might as well get this one so i got this one and i'll sh show you through this uh, in a bit and show you what's in this i'm not massively overwhelmed by what's in this um but it is nicer than the other one yeah, so they didn't have any magnets left again. But when I was in London the other day, I went to a shop that sold some theatre merch and they had a sister act magnet. So I bought one from there, so I've got one now. And this was £7 from a shop in London. Um, it's not the one that they sell for this show. I think this must have been maybe the last time it was on the West End, maybe. Uh, the magnet from that time. But... Um, I got one anyway because I have seen it on the West End 
but when I went I didn't buy a magnet for some reason I think I was collecting mugs then and I bought a mug from it any um, then so at least I have a sister app magnet it's just not the one from this particular show so one thing that was different in this show than last show is at the beginning there was a voiceover it was Jennifer Saunders and she was saying please restrain from any photography or please restrain from taking videos and photos until the finale which meant obviously you could film the um, curtain call whereas when I went last time there wasn't an announcement for that and I actually was filming the curtain call and I got told to stop which is why on the last one um, I didn't have the full curtain call because I was asked to stop filming so of course I did and then I later realised that you actually were allowed to film because um, the sister act has been reposting people's photos and videos from um, a curtain call video so I thought well it must be allowed because they're reposting it um, that's why I put the curtain call in my last video um, so yeah I don't know whether the first ones they decided you couldn't and then later on they decided that you could I'm not sure I asked my parents because they went a few days ago if they had that announcement when they went and they said they don't recall them announcing that at the beginning so I'm not sure what's happened there um, maybe they've just decided that you can't suddenly record it I don't know um, maybe maybe at the beginning they said no and now they've said yes so I assume it'll be the same for the West End now that they've got that announcement so when it goes to the um, when it goes to London I assume you'll be able to film the curtain call there as well so it was nice because I managed to get a nice curtain call video now because I was sat closer as well and yeah, I knew you definitely allowed to film it so yeah there's a nice curtain call video in this one so standout performances in the show were definitely Lizzie B she's got such an amazing voice and she played sister uh, Mary Roberts so well uh, I think she was perfect for the role she was really really good I loved her solo song The Life I Never Led she sang that so beautifully and she got a massive round of applause when she'd finished that song everyone loved what she did with that song um, other standout performances obviously Jennifer Saunders she was amazing as Mother Superior she was so funny I, I just loved her um, portrayal of Mother Superior I think she did it really really well um, she made her very funny um, other performance I really liked was obviously Sandra Marvin I think she's an excellent Dolores I'm not sure why she's not doing the London run why they got Beverly Knight doing it and then she comes back for the rest of the tour I'm not sh quite sure why they didn't just keep her doing it I don't really think they needed Beverly Knight as like another big name in the show they've already got big names maybe Sandra couldn't do the West End shows and that's why they've got Beverly Knight in I'm not sure um, but I definitely don't think they needed to bring another big name in just for the West End show I think it's got enough big names in and Sandra Marvin is excellent as Dolores um, probably one of the best I've seen like I said I've seen Sister Act a lot of times and I just thought she played Dolores perfectly I think she's a really good Dolores um, and yeah I think she could I don't know why they've not kept her for the West End run uh, unless she's not available I don't know so there are a few differences from this show to the last show that I saw in the West End for this um, I think I've read somewhere that when it went to Broadway they changed some of the songs uh, cut some out and the musical numbers in this are definitely different from when I went to see it in London last. However, I think they're the same from the last um, touring production. And I think that's why I didn't like the last touring production. Because a lot of songs were missing and there was a new song in it that I didn't like. They just sort of replaced a song. Um, and I think that's why I didn't like the last touring production. Whether they've used the same song list for this one but I think because the acting and everything is so good in this one I haven't noticed it as much but I can show you the, the song list for the last West End production I saw and this one just so you can see what's missing and what they've replaced um, one song as well 
So this is the musical numbers from the last time I went to see this on the West End, which I think might have been 2008, 2010. Um, so yeah, it's quite a long time ago. It's when Whoopi Goldberg was in it, as Mother Superior. The tracks that I noticed that are different is How I Got the Call. That has now been replaced with um, It's Good to Be a Nun. Uh, apparently they did this when it went to Broadway. They replaced the song with that one. However, I much prefer How I Got the Call. I love this song. I think it's really, really good. And I don't particularly like um, It's Good To Be A Nun. I just don't like that song. I much prefer this song. I don't know why they changed it. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, they swapped that song out. And I don't really like the song that they replaced it with. The song which is missing is Do The Sacred Mass. That song is no longer in it. In it. Um, they've not replaced it with anything. They've just taken that song out. And then the rest of the... Um, the rest of the songs in Act 1 are the same and then Act 2 in Act 2 you've still got Sunday Morning Fever Lady in a Long Black Dress there's a new song being added from what I can see so you have Sunday Morning Fever Lady in a Long Black Dress and then on this production you've got <clears throat> Have I Got a Prayer and that wasn't in the last West End show that I saw. So that seems to be a new song that's been added. And you've got Bless Our Show. Then in the West End one, it had here within these walls reprise. We don't have that now. Maybe that's what's been replaced with the Haven't Got a Prayer song from Mother Superior. Um, because this was a Mother Superior song. So yeah, I think this has now been replaced with the Haven't Got a Prayer uh, Mother Superior song. Then you've got The Life I Never Led, Fabulous Baby Reprise, A Sister Act, and then you've got The Life. Then we have When I Find My Baby Reprise in this. That is not in the new production. Then you've got The Life I Never Led Reprise, Sister Act Reprise, Spread the Love Around, and then in this one you've also got a raise your voice reprise so yeah there's definitely differences in the musical numbers for the show so the show today was completely sold out the matinee was completely sold out and the evening show tonight was completely sold out because it is actually the last day that the show is in manchester it's then going to london um so yeah you can no longer see it now in manchester um, it's going to be on in London, but like I said, Sandra Marvin isn't playing Dolores, it's going to be Beverly Knight. So yeah, the London shows start on the 19th of July and they finish on the 28th of August. So it's only a five week run in London. Um, and it's on at the, at the Eventim Apollo. So yeah, if you can get to the London show, definitely go and see it because it's been really good in Manchester. Like I said, it's had quite a lot of completely sold out shows. And the audience have been loving it. And yeah, it's, it's just a really good, fun show to see. So definitely, if you can go and see the London show, go and see it. So I thought I might as well show you the uh, souvenir programme. Um, like I said, there's not actually that much in this. It was £8. It's definitely not as good as my other ones that I've had. And like I said, the um, other programme that I got, the smaller one, that I got last time I went... This didn't have a lot in it, in it either. Basically, all this has in it is the cast list and the cast biographies. There's absolutely nothing else in this. Usually when I get these, there's a couple of articles in them uh, and just some information about the show. And there's nothing like that in, in this. It is literally the cast list and the uh, biographies. And that is it in that one. And that one was £4. And then the rest of it is just like adverts. So... Yeah, there's not much in that at all. And then this one was £8. And this does have the cast list in it. It has the biographies in it. Um, it does have some pictures in it, but there's no pictures of the production. It's all from rehearsals, which I wish they would have had some production pictures in it. It's usually where you buy these. So 
so I'm a little disappointed that there's no production pictures in this. I know this was the first, like, stop for the show. I'm assuming they've probably got some production shots from this this run to put in the London brochures. Um, but it would have been nice maybe if they could have, like, put some pictures in, maybe from, like, dress rehearsal or just something, some some with the costumes in. There's no pictures like that really in this, but anyway, I'm going to show you what it looks like in here. Okay, so here's the front of the programme. It just says Manchester 2022 on the front. So I suppose there wouldn't have been that many of these made, so... So you've got a couple of adverts here. Here you've got the advert for the tour. This is uh, for the Liverpool Empire. So it's on at the Liverpool Empire from the 15th to the 20th of May, 23. You've got an advert here for South Pacific, which is on the Opera House uh, next week, I think. Yeah, 16th to 23rd of July. There's an advert here for Mrs. Doubtfire that's on in October. And now you get on to more, your actual sister act stuff. So... So here we have some photos, obviously from like rehearsals. This is Jennifer Saunders and Clive Rowe. And here you've got Sandra Marvin and I think, is it Jeremy Seacombe? I'm not sure. Um, I think it is him. And then you've got a little welcome to sister act. It just says, after two years of anticipation, we're so thrilled to be finally raising the curtain on our new production of Sister Act the Musical. I cannot thank audiences enough for their patience and support for the production since we first announced way back in 2019. I'm also grateful to the creative team, Bill Buckhurst, Alistair David, Morgan Lodge, Tim Mitchell, Tom Marshall, Stephen Brook, as well as the wonderful cast, crew, band and production staff for all their hard work. I hope you enjoy our fabulous show. Jamie Wilson, the producer. So then you have a little article here, a fabulous baby, about how the production got to the stage. We have some more rehearsal photos. And you have this article setting the scene, a Q&A with Morgan Lodge, set and costume designer. And then it shows you some of the costume designs. Um, and then you have your cast biographies. So you've got Jennifer Saunders as Mother Superior, Sandra Marvin as Dolores. Also has a little picture of them at the bottom in their costume as well. So we've got Kayla at Seattle as Sister Mary Patrick. Leslie Joseph as um, Sister Mary Lazarus. Uh, she's actually playing Mother Superior in the tour. Clive Rowe as Eddie, Lizzie B as Sister Mary Patrick, Jerry Seacombe as Curtis, and Graham McDuff as Monsignor O'Hara. And then you have the other people playing the rest of the nuns and the other cast. Yeah. And then you've got your ensemble. Oh. Then you've got some more photos from the rehearsals. You've got Leslie Joseph there, one of Jennifer Saunders. And then you've got the cast list here with your understudy list and the orchestra. And then here you've got your page with your musical numbers. A 
and then you've got the rest of your ensemble here. I'm not sure why they've put that there and not with the rest of the cast biography. It's a bit of a strange place to uh, have it. And here you've got some more um, rehearsal photos. And then you've got the creative team here. And I think that might be everything. It's a bit about the producer. And you've got your credits and thanks. Photos from rehearsals. And then you got a page showing the merch that you could get, so you can see there was two different t-shirts, a white one and a black one. There was a hoodie, I don't even remember seeing. There was a hoodie. There, I don't know if that's two different magnets there. Or was one a pin badge? I think one's a pin badge, one's a magnet. Or they're both pin badges maybe and that's the magnet. I don't know because I never actually got to see a magnet. There was never actually a magnet there. There's a tote bag, you could get the Sister Act DVD, had the um, soundtrack and they also had the mugs. So that is all the merch that was available. It does actually say that you can actually order these from the theatreshop.com. So maybe I'll have to have a look at that and see what they've got. And... Then you just got a couple more adverts. There's an adult here for White Christmas, the musical, which is on at the Liverpool Empire in December. And then you've got the advert for the London show there. And that is everything in that, um, that uh, programme. So, yeah, that is, that is it. I am... Um, I think I would probably rate this show four star. I don't think it was quite a five star show. Definitely a four star show. Um, fun. I just enjoy it. The songs in this, and yeah, I definitely think it's a four star show. Some great um, performances from the cast in this as well. So yeah, I hope you have enjoyed this theatre vlog and review. If you do enjoy theatre vlog vlogs like this, please do subscribe to my channel because I have quite a few going up. I've got lots of um, shows booked or I'm planning on going to see. So there's going to be lots more videos to come. So like I said, if you enjoy these type of videos, please do subscribe and hit the notification bell and you'll be notified as soon as the next one goes up. So yeah, as I was saying, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have, please do give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.